Good morning, this is Pastor Philip Dacre here from Bradford Miracle Center and I want to read to you today the Word of God and pray for your needs in life, whether that be healing, a miracle or provision. All of these things come under the Word of God and it's the Word of God, I mean the written Word of God as found in the Bible, that we base upon all our ministry upon. The written Word, Jesus said, the Scriptures can never be broken. Amen. So now, Psalm 103, verses 1 to 5. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all your iniquities or sins, or faults, weaknesses, and heals all your diseases who redeems your life from destruction or waste or, or being destroyed and crowns you with loving kindness and tender mercies who satisfies your mouth with good things i.e. your values are restored and your youth is renewed like the eagles you get strength physical strength Amen now let's look at this quickly and then I want to pray for you so that you can receive what's in His Word. Just because we've been given promises doesn't mean to say we actually get them until we believe it. Now how can you believe it if you never heard about it? And how can you hear about it unless you hear with faith, believing it to be what it says it is? Amen. Now the scripture is very, very clear. We know that we get forgiveness of sins, but some people don't know that he heals all your diseases. And then others don't know that he delivers you from destruction, as in destructive forces, as in demons, or, or uh, just violent tempers, angers, or even more than that, you're, you're caught up in a maze of uh, problems and that you didn't even bring upon yourself. Maybe you were born into the wrong place at the wrong time. Maybe you're living in the wrong place at the wrong time. Maybe you were under pressure from other people. It tells us that he redeems your life from destruction and crowns you with loving kindness. In other words, he loves you even if you've done lots of things wrong and he gives you tender mercies. Okay, he satisfies your mouth with good things and he, you, he renews your strength like the eagles. Now a lot of people are disabled and God gives them strength to get out of wheelchairs, to get off the bed, uh, to just get up and do it by the power of God. But you see you can never have these things unless you believe them. And I'm not talking about believing just a little bit, you know, oh yes, God's good, He can do that for people. I'm talking about you believing it for yourself, actively. That means, if you can't walk, you believe Him to walk. Now you say, well, I'm believing Him, but I'm still sitting on my bed, I'm not able to get out of bed. So I ask you, well, why aren't you able to get out of bed? I'm not able to get out of bed because I am weak, I am disabled. Or even I don't have any legs. Smith Wigglesworth prayed for a person once who had no feet. He just said to him, he didn't actually do anything, he just said to him, tomorrow go down to the, to the shoe shop and order yourself some shoes. And when the man got to the shoe shop, the guy who was in the shoe shop said, uh, what size shoes do you need? Then looked at him, saw he had no feet. He just had wooden legs. He had to stab a good guess at the size of his feet. He said, give me a black pair, size 7. And uh, the guy was shocked. How can he order shoes when he's got no feet? But you see, when he put his stumps into those shoes, feet grew in front of the shoe shop assistant and filled those shoes with God. All things are possible. But that man, who was an Anglican minister, had to go down to the shoe shop by faith. Had to walk 
into that place looked totally like a nincompoop or a, an ashamed man and order shoes when he had no feet. Would you say you can do that? If you cannot do that, then you're not ready to receive the benefits of God. Because God expects you to so respect His word, His promise, to so respect Him that you do not respect the doctor or the people around you or anybody else, even every doubt in the million years coming into your mind, that you don't respect that doubt and you act in faith based upon these promises, these promises. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Psalm 103. Amen. This is the work of God. He tells us to believe him. Now if we respect the doctor, and the doctors are only working with the parameters that they've got, because they are limited, they don't have supernatural power, if we respect their diagnosis and say, well, there's nothing can be done because I haven't got any feet or I haven't got any legs or my legs are completely useless, they can't be used. Whatever we decide, that will show us which we believe. Do we believe the natural or do we believe God's benefits? Because it's God's benefits that we're talking about. And I'm telling you, people get eyes, eyeballs, when there was no eyeball in the socket. People get arms and legs when, there's, when their leg had been chopped off, and they, or their arm. There's nothing impossible with God. Nothing at all. But you have to believe. Oh yes, down to the shoe shop with you. You have to believe. And God cannot do anything for those that don't believe him, that don't respect his word. You see, he promised you these things, but you never receive them until you believe. The whole world doesn't believe that he, they can get forgiveness of sin. And so they don't follow Jesus. And they don't follow God. And all sorts of people like Catholics and Muslims, they build their own religions which are just antichrist. They are against Christ. You see, we've been given eternal life, but to get it we have to believe. We've been given the kingdom of God, but to appropriate it we have to believe. We've been given provision for daily needs, but to get those things we have to believe. And not just believe from a distance, but believe actively so that you operate as if you had the things that you lack. That's called faith in God. And you see, God has no other way. He has to, you either have faith in the devil or faith in God. He puts both spirit worlds at an arm's length from us and say, believe which one you want and you'll get what you believe. If you believe the devil, you'll believe that you're totally limited to the natural realm that God cannot provide you a new set of legs. And of course, you'll get what you believe, nothing. But if you believe God, nothing is impossible, even legs or eyeballs or ears or nose or face or even being a dwarf and growing to six foot two. Nothing is impossible with God. I want to pray for you now, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Put your hand on the computer, Jesus. Get up and walk in Jesus' name. He loves you. You can do it. Only believe. Now if you've got cancers, eyeballs missing, legs or arms shorter than the other, if you've got spina bifida and your spine is twisted, all these things can be healed and more. Cancers go. In Jesus' name. Everything can be healed and has been healed before and will be healed in you if you receive it. Forget not his benefits. Beloved, you get it. If at first you don't believe, try and try again. God bless you.